Hi, um, Matt gave me the privilege of addressing you all today um, through our weekly video message. Um, so I am grateful for that. Um, I wanted to take the opportunity to say thank you um, to um, many of you, most of you who have uh, sent cards, um, gift cards, flowers. You've provided um, very generous and wonderful acts of service um, and most of all provided prayers and encouragement for me and my family um, and wanted you to know uh, that I have been humbled and honored um, by the way that you have expressed your love uh, for me and my family. Uh, just an update um, on what's going on with me physically. I uh, got a port uh, placed today um, so that I can start chemo on uh, November 10th. Um, I will have an infusion every three weeks um, is the plan. Uh, and I will have eight rounds uh, that hopefully will last six months. Um, so that is um, the treatment plan that they have laid out. Um, and I'm very hopeful um, and they have many different resources to help manage um, any side effects. Um, I have been given permission to be in worship for most Sundays. We're trying to schedule the chemo so that by the time Sunday um, rolls around, even during a treatment week, um, hopefully I'll be feeling um, well enough to come uh, to worship um, and to participate in that. Um, other, otherwise, I will be working uh, from home and continuing working online um, and through Zoom. Uh, so hope that you are able uh, to participate and connect um, in some of those ways. Also, um, to say that I'm really excited about some of the plans that we have for Advent. Um, I know um, it is um, hard to think about um, having Advent without um, our traditional opportunities to gather together, um, but I think we've come up with some creative ways um, where we can continue to engage with each other and engage God during um, that season of waiting. So I hope that you will participate as you are able. Uh, Sunday afternoon um, at 2 p.m. is our scheduled um, outside worship service. Um, my understanding is that if um, we need to cancel because of rain, um, that we will send an email and a text um, as soon as possible uh, on Sunday. Uh, and if we aren't able to gather uh, this Sunday, October 25th, um, our rain out date um, is the following Sunday on November 1st. Uh, so uh, remember, if you're planning to attend um, the outside service to bring your chair and um, water and whatever else um, you might need, uh, and that it will be mostly the same service um, that will be streamed at 10.30 a.m. So if you attend the streaming service, you won't be missing out on what's happening um, in person. Uh, so hope that that information is helpful. I wanted to uh, leave you with um, a passage from a book called Prophets Now. Um, on Wednesday evenings, um, uh, I've picked back up again um, a study of our minor prophets. Um, we have two more sessions to go. Um, and it's been really interesting to um, read the minor prophets and discuss them um, and uh, to discover how pertinent they still are today. Um, but this book is a, um, a rewriting of those um, words of the prophets. Um, so it's not a translation, it's just a, a creative interpretation. Um, and it is by a, a man named Leslie Brandt. Um, so this is um, a variation on Lamentations 3, and I'll leave you with this. Now, I am often depressed and discouraged. I feel at times that God has given up on me, that while I am a child of God, and a child of his grace, I have failed to meet his demands for servanthood, to carefully carry out his purposes in stemming the tide of wickedness overwhelming my world, to proclaim and to demonstrate his redeeming love to people around me. Yet I know deep within me that his love for me never ceases, that when my faith falters, he is ever faithful. I must remember daily that God cares for me, that God is with me, and that God will never let me go. I am the redeemed child of my God, and I am his forever. Hope those words uh, give you some encouragement today. 
a reminder that you are the beloved and redeemed child of God now and forever. Hope to see you Sunday.